Hello everyone, this is Mamta Mund and today we are going to solve some uh, questions of Mathematics Olympiad questions of class 6 from SOF IMO book workbook. If you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel then please subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the bell icon for getting notifications of future videos and please visit my blog massacred.com for more information regarding the textbook solutions of CBSC, ICC and other state boards. Let's get started and solve some questions. And if you like this video, then please click the like button. Today we will solve some achievers questions, hot questions from the chapter 11 algebra of the uh, of the Mathematics Olympiad workbook SOF IMO books. Let's solve some questions. Now question number 26. Asima, bo Asima bought 23 things from the market. She bought 5 more jeans than shorts and 2 fewer uh, watches than jeans. If x represents the number of shorts in total, then which mathematical statement can be used to find how many of each things are bought? Asima bought 23 things. To total 23 things she bought from the market, she bought 5 more jeans. 5 more jeans then sort if x represents the number of sort so let the number of sort be x x and she bought 5 more than jeans 5 more jeans then sort so jeans 5 more jeans then sort so jeans will be x plus 5 and 2 fewer watches than jeans so jeans is this is jeans Number of jeans will be 5 more jeans than sorts. So, sorts is x, x plus 5 is number of jeans. And x is number of sorts. This is sorts. Now, and 2 fewer watches than jeans. This is jeans. So, it will be x plus 5 minus 2. 2, two fewer means we have to subtract 2 from the number of genes so x plus 5 is number of genes minus 2 which is equal to 23 23 things she bought from the market so this is equal to 23 now it is x plus x plus 5 plus x plus 3 which is equal to 23 so option a that is x plus x plus 5 plus x plus 3 is equal to 23 so option a is the correct option. Now question number 27. Fill in the blank. First bit. An expression with a variable constant and the sign of equality is called an dash. From the P. P column we have to find the option. That is variable equation. Variable equation which is the correct option. So an expression with a variable constant and the sign of equality. Variable Suppose it is variable constant is 3 and the sign of equality is called an equation. Constant variable and the equality that is called equation. So from this B and D there is the equation. So from B and D which is the correct option let us find out. Now second bit is 8 more than 2 times the number x. 8 more than 2 times. So 2 times 8 plus more than means we have to add and 2 times the number x. 2x. Written in the algebraic expression is 8 plus 2x. So it is 8 plus 2x. Here also 8 plus 2x. Now, now we have to find out which is the correct option. Now we have to find the variable this r column which will be variable or equation which is correct let's think of an equation is a condition on a r that is from the r column equation is a condition on a variable so option b so option b is the correct option this is variable and this is equation
सो ऑप्शन बी इज द करेक्ट ऑप्शन ना क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी एट हिच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इक्वेशन डज नॉट है सोल्यूशन इन इंटीजर्स फर्स्ट दिज ऑप्शन आर गिवेन फर्स्ट चेक आउट द ऑप्शन ए दैट इज एक्स प्लस वन इज इक्वल टू वन सो एक्स विल बी वी हैव टू ट्रांसपोज दिस वन टू द राइट हैंड साइड दिस प्लस वन बिकम्स माइनस वन वन माइनस वन इज जीरो सो एक्स इज जीरो नाउ बी इज एक्स Here three mm. minus one transpose to the right hand side. This will be plus three plus one is four. And this third third option C is two x plus one is equal to six. Now two x is equal to six. And we have to transpose this plus one to the right hand side. It will be minus one. Six minus one is five. Two x equal to five. So x will be this multiplication of two transpose to the right hand side. This multiplication become um, will become division. Multiplication changes to division. So five divided by two, and five divided by two is not the solution for integers. Five divided by two is a rational number. Rational number is of the form p divided by q. That is p and q are integer. Five and two are integer. And q not equal to zero. Here two not equal to zero. So this is a rational number. In class seven, class seven, learn this rational. Now this one. So option C will be the correct option. And one minus x is equal to five. Now this minus x transpose to the right hand side. This minus x changes to plus x. Minus changes to plus. So x is one, and this five transpose to the right left hand side. This five will be one minus five, and x equal to minus four. Minus four is an integer, so this is correct. But option C, the value of x is five divided by two. This is a rational number, so this does not have a solution in integers. This is not an integer, so option C is the correct option. क्वेश्चन नंबर 29 स्टेट ट्रू और फॉल्स t फॉर ट्रू एंड f फॉर फॉल्स p x इक्वल टू 15 इज द सॉल्यूशन ऑफ द इक्वेशन 41 माइनस x इज इक्वल टू 25 15 इफ वी सब्स्टिट्यूट दिस वैल्यू x इज 15 इन द इक्वेशन 41 माइनस x इज 25 सो लेफ्ट हैंड साइड विल बी 41 माइनस 15 एंड दिस इज 11 माइनस 5 इज 6 एंड 3 माइनस 1 इज 2 But here 25 is on the right hand side, so 26 not equal to 25. So this is false. So F F from A and B, which is the correct option? Let's find it. Now Q is an equation is an algebraic expression which involves equal to sign. This is true. Q is true because equation algebraic expression involves Constant variable and the equal sign. So this this is true. P and T this is true. Now let's find out the which will be the answer of R. Two or three. Now x exceeds y by seven can be expressed as x equal to y plus seven. X exceeds y by seven. So it will be x. Minus y is equal to seven. So it is incorrect. X equal to y plus seven. X exceeds y by seven. This is correct. So option A is the correct option.
Now question number 30. Match the following. Column 1, column 2. The first page. The total weight of 3 boxes is 5 kg. If the weight of the 2 boxes, 2 of the boxes is x kg each. If the weight of 2 of the 3, 3 boxes is 5 kg. So, and uh, weight of 2 of the boxes is x kg each. Then the weight of 3rd kg will be see the correct option that is x minus 11 or x by 3 or 5 minus 2 x. So x plus x. 2 of the boxes is x kg. So x plus x plus third box. That is this is third box which is equal to 5 kg. So 2x third box will be 5 minus 2 x. 5 minus 2x. So option C. 5 minus 2x is the correct option. So option C is the correct option. Now second bit. C uh, had x toffees. Uh, he had 5, uh, five toffees and gave 6 toffees to his neighbor. The number of toffees let left with him is dash c c had x to, uh, topic x he had 5 topic so it will be subtract you have to subtract 5 from the total topic that is x x minus 5 and gave 6 topic to his neighbor neighbor so this 6 topic uh, she gave means and we have to subtract 6 from the total topic. So now six x minus 5 minus 6 is x minus 5 and 6 both are negative signs. So we have to, when we add 2 integers with negative, uh, when we add 2, inti, uh, 2 numbers with negative sign, then we have to first, sub, um, first add the 2 integers without sign and put the sign negative sign before the integer now it is x minus 11 so it is second bit is x minus 11 now third bit this is first this is second now third Moit had x rupees. He gave the money to his three sister equally. Each girl, each girl will get this rupees. Moit had x rupees. He gave the money to his three sister equally. Equally means we have to divide x divided by three. Each girl will get x divided by three rupees. This x divided by three, and this is x minus one. So third is this one. So from this option A, one, one match with C, one to C, one C, this is also C. From these two option three and mm, first and third option, which is correct option, let's check it. Now second bit is x minus eleven a two a two a and this is also two b. So this is incorrect. Here two b here two a. This is correct. Now third is b third b. So option A that is 1 matches with C, 2 second bit 2 matches with A and third bit C matches with B. So option A is the correct option. If you have not subscribed my YouTube channel, then please subscribe my YouTube channel. And if you have any doubt, then please write in comment section and I will reply. 
keep learning keep watching and please subscribe my youtube channel thank you